A bill to lower the cost of a life-saving medication is headed to the governor's desk. This proposal would cap the cost of EpiPens, and families who need them say it would make a huge difference. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris has more. Tiffany Mathis' daughter has lived with tree nut allergies since she was two years old and tried butter pecan ice cream. And her face swelled up and her lips swelled up. We took her to the hospital and then discovered that she had this allergy. Since then, she's needed to carry an EpiPen. But the life-saving medication can come at a high cost. I was a single mom. I was on Medicaid. She was on um, all kids insurance. And um, around that time, some years later, the EpiPen skyrocketed and they went from like no copay, low copay to $100 an EpiPen. And Mathis says her family doesn't need just one pack. They use multiple. She needs to have at least four or five to split between all the households, daycare, extracurricular activities that she was participating in. EpiPens also have an expiration date. We're not talking about Tylenol or, you know, ibuprofen. You're talking about an EpiPen that you can't just not have. For many people with allergies, they could have a life-threatening reaction known as anaphylaxis. They could get hives and even trouble breathing. But a jab of an EpiPen into someone's leg could help save their life. Having an allergic reaction is scary because that's every day you live with the threat that your child might have something happen to them and they might die over their allergy. Lawmakers say they want to make this more affordable for families. This shouldn't be a, uh, an area where companies are making profits off of. This is life or death for, uh, for little kids as well as adults. A bill aims to cap the cost of a twin pack of EpiPens to $60. A couple of years ago, the state passed legislation requiring insurance companies to cover the cost of EpiPens for people 18 or under. But it didn't say affordable coverage for EpiPens. And that's where the General Assembly is not having to go back and try to either define that or stipulate that with a, spe a specific dollar amount. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris. Two name brand EpiPens can cost more than $600 and it's up to $300 for the generic version.